everyone, it's Anita from Scrappy Happy Mommy, and today I'm going to be making a Christmas card using my Winter Wonderland uh, Cricut cartridge. I'm also going to be using today my Elegant Edges Cricut cartridge and a Cards TV stamp set called Glad Tidings. So those are the three things that I am using today. Um, my card base is a A2 size card and it's a forest green color measuring five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm going to be adding a mat right here that's going to measure four by five and a quarter and then I've used my snowflakes cuddle bug embossing folder uh, for the mat and this one right here is going to measure five by three and three quarters. So I am going to go ahead and put these two together first and what I am going to be doing is taking a strip of burlap and putting that across the sides. So that is the first step that I'm going to do and I love using, every so often I use a little bit of burlap on my card so that is the first thing I'm going to be adding today. Sometimes this wants to go on very smooth and other times he gives me a hard time going on. The other thing that I'm going to be adding onto the card base itself is a little bit of this red ribbon that I found in my stash and I am just going to put that in the middle of the card base just like that and then adhere this down on the back. So that is the first things that I'm going to do to set this down. And I absolutely love the image that I'm using today and I haven't used this cartridge a lot so I thought it should take it out, do something with it. So there is so far my top mat and we'll go ahead and put that on. Starters on top like that and down and then put it onto my card base. And that is my card base so far. So the next thing that I'm going to be putting down is my actual image. And this is again from the Winter Wonderland cartridge. And the image I'm using is this poinsettia found on page 33 and 34. I did cut this at 3 inches just to let you know. And uh, used all of the shift and the features. And used my universal overlay as well and that is the image right there. And for the extra little holly I added some red stickles onto it and uh, I did also add it on a thickness of foam tape and that is my image and I'm going to have that hang off the side just a tiny little bit just like that. Love how that turned out. So for my sentiment map uh, again I'm using my Cards TV and this is the Glad Tidings stamp set and I am using this Come Let Us Adore Him for the outside and also my Elegant Edges Cricut cartridge and for the sentiment map it's going to be found on page 25 so I use the oblong shift and the shadow shift feature both cut out at one and three quarters and there are the two parts right there and I did uh, stamp this down with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink and this is just perfect for that sentiment that's going to go on that card. And put this down. Sometimes they want to go down so easily, and today is one of those days that it's not wanting to as well. Make sure everything's lined up. And that's pretty good. And there is my sentiment map right there. And I was going to add it right there, but I think I'm going to put it onto the, I don't know where I want to add it, I guess up here, it's probably going to look nice, and there we go, there is my outside of my card right there. So for the inside, um, I've already gone ahead and also did the sentiment, and that comes from that same Cards TV, which is this one right here, wishing you glad tidings, comfort, and joy. Um, and my mat in the inside is uh, three and three quarters by five across. 
So that is my card today. Again, very, very simple little card. I love how it turned out. I think everything just offsets the colors so well. Using my Winter Wonderland cartridge, my Elegant Edges cartridge, and again, Cards TV Glad Tidings. So thanks for watching, and we hope to see you again. Thanks now. Bye.